In this presentation, we will have a liquidation of a partnership and we'll have a liquidation where one partner will end up with a negative capital account in the process of the liquidation and they won't be paying the partnership for that negative capital account like we would hope. And therefore, we're gonna have to allocate that, that negative capital account to the other two partners bringing down their capital accounts in the liquidation process. So we're gonna start here with doing this with a worksheet and then we'll do the same thing with a trial balance and journal entries. So first things, we're gonna have the ratio of a three to one uh, is gonna be our split between our three partners, K, C, and M. So to do this, remember we just take the three plus the two plus the one is six. And then we just take the three divided by the total of six, 50% for K, our first partner. And then two divided by the total of six is 0.3333 for the second partner, and then one divided by six, or uh, 0.1666 for the third partner. So we'll do that again here. So we're in F70 equals three divided by six, and say tab. And then in G70 equals two divided by six tab, and then M equals one divided by six tab. And then if we highlight those three, it should add up to one or 100%. So also note that um, this 0.33 goes on forever. It's really one third. So we wanna make sure that we use this cell within our formulas and not just use 0.33, which will be less exact. Okay, so then we're gonna, we have our accounts here. This is basically like a trial balance within a table format. So we've got the assets of cash, then inventory, liabilities of the accounts payable, and then the capital accounts. So if we take this, we're gonna say the assets of this and this to uh, 7, 12, 500 equal the liabilities and equity, 7, 12, 500, 7, 12, 500, 7, 12, 500. So now we're, gonna, we're going to go through the process and go through our steps, which first involves paying or selling the assets, in this case, inventory. We wanna make sure to do that first so that we limit the problems with the partnership payments at the end. We limit the problems with having negative partnerships. We can't eliminate it because we will still have that problem here, but we wanna lessen that likelihood as much as possible. So we first sell the assets. In this case, we only sold it for 320,000. That's how much cash we're gonna get. So we're gonna say 320,000. The inventory was on the books for 530,000. So we're gonna put that here, negative 530,000, because we sold all of it. The difference between those two then is the loss, 210,000. We're gonna have to allocate that loss to the partners uh, in accordance with their profit sharing agreement. So to K, C, and M. And so we're going to say that uh, if we took the 530,000 minus the 320, we have a loss of five of 210. If we multiply that times 0.5, we get the 105 for K's share of that. We've got the 210 times 0.33333 is close to what we want. What we really want is, and what we'll have here when we use this cell, is 210 times, or divided by, times one third, or divided by three, 70,000. And then lastly, we've got 210,000 times 0.166666 on forever. And we have something close to what we're gonna have there. So we'll do that same calculation here. What we'll do is we'll sum these up, which will be a subtraction problem because it's gonna sum up a positive and negative number, and then multiply it times the percentages, which will just be the same things. It'll be 210,000 times 50%, 210,000 times 0.33, and so on and so forth. So we're in F73, we're gonna say equals SUM, double click the sum function, highlight those two cells, close it up, and then we're gonna multiply it times that 50% and tab. So we'll do the same thing here for G73, we're gonna say equals SUM, double click the sum function, highlight those two cells, which will subtract those problems, close it up, and then multiply that times the 0.33, whoop, which is really what happened there. Multiply that times, times the 0.33, which is really uh, pretty much one third, like multiplying it times one third. 
because this isn't just 0.33, it's the whole thing there. And that'll give us the 70,000. And then we'll do this one more time. Equals SUM. Double click the sum function. Highlight those two cells. We'll close it up. Multiply it times the ratio of the 0.17, which is really 0.1666 on forever. And enter. So now if we add these up, it should add up to 210, which will equal our loss over here. Okay, so there we have that. Now we're gonna bring down the balances. So we're just gonna have uh, cash was at 182, 500. We're adding the 320, and we can sum this up, equals SUM. Double click the sum and add those two, tab. We'll do the same thing here. We'll sum them up, which will be a subtraction problem. So equals SUM, double click the sum, highlight those two, tab. And then here we're just gonna bring down the 240. Nothing happened there, so we can just say equals that 240. Then we'll sum these two up, which is gonna be the 93,000 minus the 105, resulting in a negative number, negative 12,000. So equals the SUM, double click the sum, highlight those two. And there's our problem right there. The case capital is gonna be negative. So, and then we'll do the same thing here, equals sum, double click, and we'll highlight those two. And we get to do this one more time, equals sum. I'm gonna say shift F9, and then shift nine, not F, and then uh, hold down shift and highlight the two, and up, and then close it up. So we do that with all the keystrokes. Okay, so there we have it. Now we have uh, this problem here. So the, the capital account for K's capital account now is is uh, less, is showing that K owes the company or the partnership money rather than vice versa. That's a problem. So we're gonna go to K and say, hey, you know, we sold the inventory at a loss and you owe partnership as a result after we allocate with, with profit sharing agreement and in this case we're gonna say that K you know which could happen in a partnership when we're liquidating is gonna say I'm not gonna pay and at some point we might just say okay well we <laughs> we got to move forward with the liquidation process at some point so what are we gonna do in that case we're gonna have to allocate uh, the loss here to the other two partners so we're gonna have to allocate this loss to the other two partners now we have a problem because you know, how are we gonna allocate the loss with when we have a, a split of 50, 33, and um, 17? We're gonna have to, these two need to add up to 100. In other words, we need something that adds up to 100 between C and M. So one way we can do this, so we can go back to the original here and say it was a three, two, one. We eliminate the three because we got rid of Ks out of the equation. So now we just have a two, one. So we could say that, you know, two and one add up to three. So two over three is 0.666 whatever, and one over three is 0.33. So our new percentages when we do this then will equal uh, two over three, which is 66.666 on forever, and equal one over three, which is 33.333 on forever. And now we can, we can allocate this out. So now we're gonna allocate this loss so we're just gonna say that um, we're gonna allocate the 12,000 to these two partners. So we'll do that by saying equals that number times this 66.666 on forever percentage. That'll give us 8,000. We'll do the same thing here. Equals that 12,000 times the 33.333 on forever gives us the four. So the eight and the four of course add up to the 12 and the 66 and the 33 add up to 100. Okay, so now we can bring down our balances once again. So we didn't do anything here, we're just gonna bring down the cash equals the cash. That's zero, I'm just gonna leave it blank. And then the accounts payable equals the accounts payable. Nothing happened to that one. Here we're gonna sum up the two, bringing the balance to zero, equals SUM, double click the sum, highlight those two, and tab, balance at zero, and then we're going to uh, add these two up. And actually, sh this should be a subtraction problem. We're going to subtract these two. And let's, let's represent that with a negative number here. So I'm going to double click here, and I'm just going to flip the sign. And so I'm just going to put a negative in front of either of these numbers. And we'll just, a negative number times a positive will be a negative. So I'm just going to put negative. And then I'll double click here and go to the front of this number and put negative. 
and there we have it. So now it's just going to be this is the beginning capital minus the 8,000. We'll do that with the sum function. So equals SUM. Double click the sum function. Highlight the 142,500 and the 8,000 to get uh, 134,500. We're going to do the same thing here. Equals SUM. Double click the sum function. Highlight those two cells and enter. So there we have it. So now we've got cash, we've got the accounts payable, assets equal liabilities plus equity. So the 502500 equals the 502500. Our next step, pay off the liability. So the liabilities on the books for 240,000, we need to pay that. We're going to pay it with cash. So cash is going to go down by credit 240,000. And the liability is going to go down by 240, the accounts payable. Nothing's going to happen to equity, maybe 240,000. Nothing's going to happen to the capital accounts. So we'll, we will sum this up then. We're in the balance. We're going to say equals SUM. Double click the sum. Highlight those two numbers and tab. Bringing the cash down to 262,500. Then we're in E78 equals SUM. Double click the sum function. Highlight those two numbers and tab. They're back down to zero for the accounts payable. And then in C's capital, we'll just say equals that number. And then in M's capital, we'll just bring it down equals that number, bringing the balances down. Now we have the cash and we've got the capital accounts. And all we have to do is distribute the cash to the capital accounts. They should be equal in total amounts, which they are. So we're just gonna distribute this out. So within C79, we're gonna say that we're gonna pay credit 262,500. And then in G79, we're gonna say negative 134,500. And M79, negative 128,000. And then we'll just bring down the balances. So this and this will add up to zero. We'll do that with the sum function equals the sum. Double click and highlight those two cells, bringing the balance to zero. We'll do the same here in G. We'll say equals SUM. Double click the sum, highlight those two cells, bringing the balance to zero. And then M equals the sum. Double click the sum, highlight the two cells, bringing the balance to zero. So now we've zeroed out uh, the capital counts and we've liquidated the partnership. We'll do that same process now with the trial balance. So we've got the trial balance representing the same numbers as basically these items. Now in trial balance format, we've got the assets in green, the liabilities in orange, and then the capital accounts in the blue. Debits are going to be positive numbers, credits negative numbers, the green zero means we're in balance. Okay, we're gonna do the same process here. We're gonna pay off, uh, the, we're gonna we're going to sell the inventory for cash, pay off the liabilities, and then uh, pay the partners. But we'll have that added problem of a negative capital account, which we'll have to deal with within this process. So uh, first, we're going to say we got cash for the inventory. We got cash of 320000 So here's cash. It's going to go up. We're going to do the same thing to it. So I'm going to copy cash, right-click and copy. We'll put that up top in J70, right-click and paste. One, two, three. The amount will be for 320,000. Then we're gonna credit inventory for the inventory that is there, 530. So we'll right click on inventory and copy. Put that in J71, right click and paste, one, two, three. Then we'll indent, home tab, alignment, increase indenting. Then we'll be in L71, where we will say negative credit 530,000. Then the difference between the two, 530 minus 320 is 210. We need that in the debit side here. So we're gonna do the negative sum or plug formula to put that there. So we're gonna say negative SUM, double click the sum function and highlight those cells to bring it down to, uh, out to 210,000. Now we just need to put that to an account, which will be the gain or loss, an income statement account. So we're gonna say right click and copy and put that in J72, right click and paste one, two, three. 
When we did this over here, uh, we put this gain or loss directly to the capital accounts, allocating them directly to the capital accounts. Uh, on, the, on this problem, however, we're going to first look at the gain or loss, kind of a normal type of transaction we would see, a gain or loss here. Then we'll allocate that gain or loss to the capital accounts as we would in like a closing process. So let's do that. We're going to say cash up top. We're going to post that to the center column in P70 where we will say equals and point to that 320, bring the balance of 182,500 up by 322, 502,500. Then the inventory is here. We're gonna post it to P71 by saying equals, point to the 530, bring the balance down to zero. And then we've got the gain down here in P78, so, or it's the loss, here's the loss. We're in P78 equals and we're going to point to that 210 bringing the balance up to 210 which is a debit a loss and bringing net income to that same 210. so next step is we're going to just allocate this loss then to the capital accounts with the use of their uh, uh, percentages their profit percentages or profit sharing percentages so to do that we're going to say that this is going to go down First, we'll copy the capital accounts. We're going to debit these three capital accounts. Put those on top. We'll put the debits on top this time. So we'll copy these three capital accounts. Right-click and copy. We're going to put that up top in J74. Right-click and paste. One, two, three. And then underneath that, we're going to put this, this uh, gain or loss account. So here's the gain or loss account. We're going to right-click on that. Copy. And we'll put that in J77. Right-click and paste one two three then we're going to go ahead and indent this go into the home tab alignment increase indenting and then we'll we'll go to the credit side we're going to make this go down so this is a debit balance we're going to do the opposite thing to it to make it go down which is a credit so we're going to put a negative 210 thousand and then we'll debit uh the, the capital accounts in accordance with their profit sharing agreement so here's K's capital account. We're going to say this equals, uh, I'm going to say negative of this number times the 50% and enter. And then in C's capital account, we're going to say this equals this number times the 33%. And then in C's capital, we're going to say this equals negative of this number times the 0.17 or 17 and if we add these up then it adds up to 210 which should add up to the credit of 210 okay so then, then we're gonna post this out so we're gonna post this here's our here's our entry we're gonna post K's capital first here's K's capital here it is on the trial balance we want to be in the middle column in P73 where we will say equals point to that 105,000 bringing the balance from 93,000 down by 105,000 to 2 a negative 12,000 and that's our problem so K's capital now is a negative number we're gonna have to deal with that because K basically owes the company money at this point and then we're gonna post out C's capital here's C's capital we're gonna post it to P 74 by saying equals point to that 70,000 bringing the 212 500 down by 72 142 500 and then we are gonna post M's capital to here in P75 by saying equals and then pointing to that 35,000 bringing the 167,000 down by 35,000 to 132,000 and then the, the loss is here and uh, so we're going to allocate that here there's already something in cell P78 so we'll double click on it go to the end of it say plus and then point to that 210 bringing the balance down to zero and bringing the net in the debits and credits back in balance. Okay, so now we've allocated that out. Now the next problem is of course, K's capital account is negative. And that means that K owes the company money or the partnership money rather than vice versa. And if we go to K and say, hey, you know, you had a positive capital account and it went down to negative because we sold the inventory for as much as we could, but we had this big loss and then we allocated it here and you're, you, now you owe the partnership $12,000. Now, if they don't pay the partnership the $12,000, then uh, we'll have to allocate 
that, that loss to the other partners. So, uh, you know, if we do all we can do and we can't get paid the $12,000 in this liquidation process, then uh, the other two are just going to have to eat the loss. So that's what we'll have to do here. And so we know that this needs to go down. And so we're going to credit that and we're going to debit these two uh, for, for the difference. So I'm going to copy these two first to put it on top. So we'll highlight C and M. We're going to have to debit those accounts to make them go down. Right click and copy. We'll put that in J79. Right click and paste 123. And then uh, we're, we're going to have this account on the bottom. So K's account on the bottom. Right click and copy. And we'll put that underneath in J81. Right click and paste. What happened? <laughs> Let's copy that one time. Right click and copy. Put that in J81. Right click and paste 123. Oh, so oh, let me undo this. Redo. Okay. Okay, so we want C's capital account. So I'm going to right click and copy. Put that on the bottom. Right click and paste 123. And we're going to credit it for 12,000. So we want this to go to zero. That's our first goal. I'm going to indent this, go into the Home tab, Alignment, Increase Indenting. Now we need to we need to allocate that based on their percentages. But now that we don't have K involved, we can't use the 50, 33, 17 because we're allocating K's percentage over here. So we have to have a, a percentage that adds up to 100 between C and M. And remember, we came up to the 66 and 33 based on uh, having a split of of three of two three between the two remaining partners so a split of two three so we'll use those percentages so we're gonna say in K 79 negative of this number times that 66.66 enter and then M we're gonna say negative of this number times and then that 33.33 and enter Okay, and then we'll post this out. So we're gonna say, here's C capital, here's C's capital. We're gonna double click on P74, go to the end of it, say plus, and point to that 8,000, and enter. And then we got the M's capital. Uh, here's M's capital. We're gonna double click on uh, M, go to the end of it, plus, and we're gonna go to that 4,000, and enter and then here's K's capital which needs to go to zero here's K's capital on the on the uh, trial balance we'll double click on it go to the end of it plus and then point to that 12,000 bringing it to zero putting us back in balance so there we have that okay so so now this we're back with all negative capital accounts which it means that uh, the partnership owes the partner money which is the way it should be <laughs> and then we just have this liability and cash. Next step, we pay off the liability with the cash and then we can pay the partners. So the liability is on the books for 240. We're gonna pay the cash to pay it off. So cash is a debit balance. We're gonna make it go down doing the opposite thing to it. So I'm gonna right click and copy cash. We'll scroll down, we're gonna skip a line and then skip another line to put it on the bottom. Right click and paste one, two, three. Then I'm going to indent it, Home tab, Alignment, Increase Indenting. And the amount's going to be that 240000 So in the credit side, we'll put a negative 240000 And then we'll debit something for the same amount. So in K83, negative of that number. And then the amount uh, we're, going to, we're going to put to the account, we're going to put to the accounts payable in N72. So we'll right click on N72, copy, and put that on top in J83, right click and paste 123. So now we're just gonna post this out. So here's accounts payable on our journal entry. Here it is on our trial balance. We wanna be in P72, where we will say equals and point to that 240, bringing the balance from 240,000 down by 242, zero. Then here's the cash. We're going to go up to cash. Something's in it, so we'll double click on it, go to the end of it, plus, and then point to that cash 240,000, bringing the balance down to 262,500. 
So now we're just left with the cash and our capital accounts only for the two partners that are remaining that still have a balance. So we will close this out. We'll say cash has a has a debit balance. We're gonna make it go down and then I'm, I'm by doing a credit and then we'll debit these two. So these two are, are gonna be the debits. We'll put these on top. So we'll copy these two, right click and copy. Scroll down, we're gonna put these on top in J86, right click and paste one, two, three. And then we'll go up to cash up top in N70, right click and copy. Scroll down and put the cash underneath in J88, right click and paste, one, two, three. We'll indent now, home tab, alignment, increase indenting. And then we can just put the numbers in. So it's gonna be whatever's there. We can't use a formula to pick these up because of a circle reference, but we're just gonna put the number that's there. We'll hard code it, 134, 500 and 128,000. And then the credit, we can negative sum, negative sum, the plug formula is 262,500, which should equal what's in cash. So this should bring everything down to zero. Let's see if it does. We're gonna go here to C capital. Here's C capital on the trial balance. We're gonna be in cell P74. Double click on it, go to the end of it, plus, and then point to that 134,500 and enter. So it goes down to zero, that's good. Here's M's capital. Here's M on the trial balance. We're here on P75, double click, go to the end of it, plus, and then point to that 128,000 and enter, bringing the balance to zero. And then here's cash. So cash is gonna be up top. Here's cash. We're gonna go in the middle, double click, go to the end of it, plus, and then we'll scroll back down and we'll pick up that cash 262 or yeah 500 and enter and that brings the balance down so now we're back to the zeros and we've uh, liquidated the partnership